Incredibly, one of the most common questions that we get is how do I backfill a syringe if I am going to use uh, a Comfortox syringe or some kind of, a, of insulin syringe to go ahead and uh, backfill it? Or how do I get the filler in there? So let me show you a really quick video. It's pretty simple, actually. Here we have Juvederm Ultra Plus. So again, all using sterile technique. Everything we have here is sterile. I'm just using the, uh, the needle tip that comes with the Juvederm Ultra Plus. Plus. And this is a Comfortox syringe. This is a 0.3 ml of uh, Comfortox is probably the best to, to use. It's made specifically uh, for any kind of botulinum toxin injection, but certainly is great for filler injections too because it has a special needle tip, a multi bevel needle that is one of the sharpest that, is, uh, that are on the market. So this is a syringe. This just came out of its uh, this uh, individual pack when the way Comfortox package these things, uh, Juvederm Ultra Plus as you know, comes out of its sterile pack. All I'm doing here is I am removing uh, the plunger on the Comfortox syringe, and I am going to go ahead and just backfill some of this right into... Uh, let's see if we can have you guys see this a little bit better. As you can see, I am going to go ahead and place and just place, just go ahead and backfill some of that. How much am I backfilling when I go ahead and place this? And do this with the needle tip, by the way. Much easier to do this with the needle tip. I'm only going to put into any of these syringes only 0.2. That is all I'm going to do is uh, 0.2 at any one time. Why? Especially with these Comfortox syringes, which are just fantastic. Uh, these Comfortox syringes syringes are a uh, 31 gauge needle tip, which I'll show you right here. 31 gauge needle tip, super sharp, super thin. So about 0.1 to 0.2 of material at any given time is going to be enough that you're going to get a number of good injections. And also then at that point, you want to change out the needle and the needle tip. Uh, because it starts to get dull and I want to be known as one of the most comfortable injectors here So at this point I just go ahead and I pu push this all the way up And then this syringe is ready to go and I'm going to do this on a number of syringes on a patient that's coming up uh, Right away here. So because uh, we're going to use different techniques uh, On this patient as you are going to go ahead and see you can always make sure you bleed it a little bit So a little bit comes out of the tip uh, get the air out But it's a simple simple way the important thing is you need to go ahead and use sterile technique for these. The other nice thing about the Comfortox syringes is they've got these flat end on it so I can go ahead and recap the syringe very simply like this as you can see right there. And now this syringe is ready to go. I'm going to do this now with a few syringes. That's how you backfill uh, some filler into a Comfortox insulin syringe.